Good morning, grade 6. Welcome to our English class. So today, our lesson is about compare and contrast using graphic organizers. So let's define first what is a graphic organizer. First, is a communication tool that uses visual symbols to express knowledge, concepts, thought, or ideas, and the relationships between them. So the main purpose of a graphic organizer is to provide a visual aid to facilitate learning and instruction. Graphic organizers are tools that can be used to visualize and organize information because graphic organizers are often used as a prompts for students to fill in the blanks. Graphic organizers are a great way for students like you to demonstrate uh, your knowledge on a certain topic as it requires you to present relationships or links, all right? So let's talk about the types of graphic organizer. We have some of uh, some type of graphic organizer and we will discuss some of them, all right? So number one, series of events chain. So you can see here a sample um, format of a series if you want to make a series of events chain if you want to use this type of graphic organizer so series of events chain can help students organize information according to various steps or series of events okay this is a type of graphic organizer that describe the stages or steps in a process so the student must be able to identify the first step in the process and all of the resulting stages in the procedure as they unfold and the outcome or the final stage so you can see we have the initiating event second event third event and the outcome or the final stage so we have here an example how a bill becomes a law or how a bill becomes law so here you can see there is the series of events right so they have the stages before they go or they proceed to the final stage second one we have venn diagram so venn diagram is a type of graphic organizer used to show the the overlapping relationships between various categories of ideas things events mathematical expressions or logical concepts okay this is an example of a simple ex example of venn diagram it makes easy to see at a glance, right? That is what exactly uh, tomato has in common with apple and what traits are different. So how do we make a Venn diagram? Okay, so first, you just make a list of descriptive terms or you describe using adjective about each for tomato and for apple. So example, for tomato, we have um, mashy inside, red in the middle, round, uh, savory, tasting smooth skinned, and a fruit, right? So for apple, you write red, firm inside, white in the middle, a round, sweet tasting, smooth skin and also a fruit so second step that you will do is to draw two unlocking circles as you see first you write the descriptive words right secondly the second step is write two two circles that interlock each other so as you see you can use many interlocking circles as you like depending on how many things you want to compare. So, 
The first circle, as you see, will be the tomato. Listing all the traits of the tomato inside. Second circle will be the apple. As you see, the tomato in blue color, right? And apple in pink color. So, the apple has also the descriptive word that you see, that you wrote. So, as you see in the middle, which is the football shape, place where the two circles overlap. This is where the traits shared by both. So, they are fruits, round, and smooth skin. So, outside the middle section, the tomato side will include mashy, savory, and red flesh. And in the other side, will include for the apple treats, white flesh, firm, and sweet. So, just remember grade 6, if you want to use a Venn diagram for your graphic organizer, um, you have to write or draw two circles that interlock. Okay? So, first circle, rep the, uh, the two sides represents the differences of the two. And the middle side or the middle will represent the similarities of the two. Alright? So, another one is problem and solution map. So, it can be useful for organizing when information contains cause and effect, problems and solution. Okay? So, this is a format if you want to use problem and solution map as your graphic or graphic organizer. So, used to represent a problem, attempted solutions, and results. So, key frame questions. This is what you have to consider if you want to use this graphic organizer. You have to consider these questions. What was the problem? Why was it a problem? What attempts were made to solve the problem? And did those attempts succeed? Okay? So, you can see you use who, what, where, when, and why, and how. So, in the uh, next box will be your attempted solutions. And at the end will be your result. And end of your um, map. Alright? Okay, so we have the last one. Cause and effect. Helps in identifying the cause and effect on an event. This is also known as multi-flow flown map okay so you can see we have causes problem and effects so it usually represents the main events that fall under the central section or of the map and then we will branch the cause and effects of an event or the event will be here on my picture the problem okay which is pollution and you can see the causes car fumes toxic waste and litter and the effects Respiratory diseases, smog, water contamination. Alright? So, that would be all for today, grade 6. I hope to see you again in our next class. Stay safe and God bless. Bye!